After I'd finished my chemotherapy treatments, I had to wait a couple weeks before starting radiation treatments. It took a few appointments and a lot of behind the scenes work to get prepared. The preparation involved is important to give you the best possible treatment outcomes with the least possible side effects. In this video, we'll hear more about some of the steps involved as well as more from Jerry and Charlotte about their experience. Let's see what they have to say. I do remember getting like the CT scans, you know. I had no idea what it was going to be like, really. So going into that first radiation appointment, I think I felt, in my mind, quite ready. Even kind of sitting in that waiting room for that first time, still felt quite strong. Walking into the room itself, um, getting put on that table, my sense of readiness kind of maybe went back a little bit. It was, it was, it was, um, it's something you remember, um, and it's something that sticks with you. Just remember that um, as you're going through this process of getting your treatment uh, tailored to you, it is truly being individualized to your cancer and your particular situation. When you're doing your CT simulation scan, the therapists will be trying to make sure that you are as comfortable as possible. And part of the reason they want to do that is not just because they're nice folks and they don't like to see you in pain, but it also means that if you are comfortable, it, you are more likely to be able to hold as still as we need you to be. And that allows us to then be more accurate in the delivery of the treatment. Because if you're moving, then we obviously have to uh, worry that we're not going to be aiming exactly where we plan to be aiming. When we're uh, wanting to give somebody radiation treatment, we want to be uh, as accurate as possible uh, in our delivery of the radiation treatment. So to be able to go from, we have some scans that showed us this is where your cancer is or used to be, to this is now the target that we want to treat. To take that step requires us to do what's called a CT SIM, um, where we bring you uh, to your cancer center, to the radiation department, and we take a scan in the position that we think we want to treat you in. When they bring you in, they would get you uh, comfortable on the scanner bed in the position that they're thinking you're going to get your radiation treatment in. They'll make a number of marks on you that they'll be using as reference marks. Sometimes they'll ask you if they have permission to uh, have a tattoo done, uh, again, so that, that that can be used as a reference down the road. Then, much like the CT scans that you may have had for getting a diagnosis, they'll just put you through the process of getting a scan. You may have some special instructions uh, that you need to follow and you may even need to practice a little bit. So depending on the type of breathing that might be needed uh, to make sure that your tumor is moving as you're breathing in a, in a re uh, replicatable cycle, they may ask you to practice your breathing. And in addition, we often associated with this have to make uh, some devices to help you stay still in the position that we want to treat you in. One device that we use for helping people stay still is with the air that you need to treat is in the head and neck region, uh, we make a, uh, what's called a mask, um, and it basically helps hold your head and neck area uh, still so you can't turn and you can't move your head up and down. So probably I got the most education on radiation at that initial like mask and simulation, and the staff that worked with me on that um, were very good. There'd been a lot of warning about this mask being, you know, locked right on, and, um, and the making of the mask was probably more intimidating than the um, actual mask itself. After the CT simulation is done, the patient goes home and that information that was gathered from that CT scan, CT sim, will be sent into the computer and we have software where we can identify the areas that we want to treat and we want to focus the radiation in on that particular area. That information comes back to the radiation therapists, specifically the dosimetrists, who do the planning of the treatment. So where they want the radiation to be coming in from, what angles into the body they want the, the radiation coming in. When they're happy, uh, our medical physics team takes the, takes the plan and they also run their own quality assurance checks. When they're done with that, they send it off to the radiation therapists that are actually on the unit. Waiting sometimes is the hardest thing. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Oh yeah, I mean, it overwhelms you. It definitely overwhelms you. 
I don't. I I know there's certain things that happened. I don't remember. My wife Marcia remembers now. Oh, that's something else. I strongly recommend take somebody with you, because a lot of times, when the doctors or the the clinical staff are telling you something, it's going to go over your head. You bring in your spouse, your children, whoever you can, to be a second set of ears. Very very important. And it's intimidating for sure. I mean. Being strong is accepting help, seeking help from others, you know, that had experienced and um, done those things and been there was was a, a breakthrough point for me where I'm still strong even when I'm seeking help. Consultation with your oncologist, a CT simulation appointment that could potentially include creating a mask, and a lot of planning and calculations are all important steps to prepare for radiation treatments. Sometimes, to get the best possible outcome, you'll have special instructions like having your bladder full or holding your breath, but your radiation team will make sure to give you all that information before your first treatment. However, if anything is unclear, please make sure to ask your radiation therapy team. Both Jerry and Charlotte emphasized how important it is to ask questions. So, now that we've prepared, what happens next? Let's find out. I'll see you soon.